Food and local action are at the heart of the global climate emergency. Food systems account for one third of global greenhouse gas emissions and cause up to 80% of biodiversity loss. Industrialized food production is degrading our environment and increasing emissions through deforestation, loss in waste, the overconsumption of meat in certain regions, and the heavy use of chemical inputs. It's a senseless system that is vulnerable to the very climate change effects that it perpetuates. If we really want to tackle the climate emergency, we must radically reshape food systems. Subnational and local governments are already leading the way to a just and sustainable food future. Sao Paulo is helping farmers convert to organic. Bruges has built a consensus for less and better meat consumption. Solo is reducing its food waste and redistributing excess foods. And New Haven collaborates on a food justice framework, all using an integrated approach. To unite these pioneering voices, IPES Food, Nourish Scotland and partners are presenting the Glasgow Food and Climate Declaration at COP26. A commitment by sub-national governments to tackle the climate emergency through sustainable food policies and a call on national governments to act now. Local leaders are already working to do their part. Now world leaders at COP must put sustainable food systems on the agenda to tackle the climate emergency and create resilience for people and the planet.